In this video, I'm going to show the process for upgrading PHP and all of its related modules on a web server. Specifically, I'm going to be upgrading to version 8.2, which is the current version as of this recording. But these instructions should work for future versions of PHP as well. Just anywhere you see reference to 8.2 in the video or the notes, you would swap out with whatever version of PHP that you're aiming for. The instructions I'm going to provide are specific to an Nginx web server. If you're looking for instructions for Apache, you can find a link in the description to a separate guide. To get started, the first thing I want to do is create a PHP info page with some general output information about our server. We can use this to confirm that the upgrade is successful. And later, we're going to do some synchronization of settings between our old version and the new version we're upgrading to. And this will be a way to confirm that those settings are taking effect. So to set this up, we could grab this little code snippet. I'm going to go over to my code editor where I'm currently connected to my server and create a new file in my document root called phpinfo.php. Paste in that code, save the changes, and then bring that up in the browser. And there we go. We can see our current version, and we'll come back and check on this later. Next up, we want to record a list of our current packages because not only are we going to be updating PHP, we have to update any PHP modules on our server. Uh, to accomplish this, this is a command I put together. This will look at your currently installed packages on your server, search for any packages, including the string PHP, and it will record the name of those packages to a text file. So let's copy this and run it. You can see the output down below, but we should also see the creation of this PHP packages.txt file. So again, we'll come back to this information in a moment, uh, but we want to move on to the next step, which is to specify an external repository where we're going to be getting our upgrades from. Uh, and this is the particular repository we're going to use. It contains all of the PHP software we need. So we just simply need to run these two commands to set that up. Hit enter when it prompts you to do so. And then let's go grab that second command. And with that step complete, we're ready to do the upgrade itself. Uh, we're going to do that with this apt install command. We're going to specify the version of PHP we want to upgrade to. And then we're going to also list any of our PHP modules or packages referencing that list we got a moment ago. So I'm going to use this command as a template. Let me copy this and bring it over. I'll just uh, put it at the end of the PHP packages text file. And I'm going to edit it for the upgrade that I need to do. So again, I'm going to 8.2. And then I need to list all of my packages referencing this list above. So one by one, I'm going to copy them over. And any of the packages that include a version number, uh, recall this is a snapshot of our current in, uh, currently installed packages. So we're just going to need to amend these uh, to reference the version of PHP we're going up to. So I'm going to, in my case, change it to 8.2. So there's my resulting command. I'm going to copy this whole thing and run it. It's going to ask me to confirm the install. So I'll type Y for yes and hit enter. And with that complete, we have all the software we need. Our next step then is to tell our server to use the upgraded version of PHP. And the way we're going to do that, if we go back and reference the notes, is we want to find any of our server configuration blocks and find the line that's referring to our PHP handler. That's this line here that reference FPM. Uh, we want to make sure it's pointing to the correct version of PHP. Uh, now, typically on an Nginx server, where you'll find these server configurations is within the etc Nginx sites enabled directory. So I'm going to go into that directory on my server. And then looking at the contents, I have a single file here. So I'm going to look in there for my site configs. And I'll just go ahead and open this in VS Code directly. And skimming through this file, I have two server config blocks. Uh, the first one is just the main server config. And then the second one is for a subdomain. So in both of these, again, we're going to find any references to our previous version of PHP and update it to the version that we're upgrading to. And then to make those changes take effect, we can grab a command to restart our Nginx web server. And then let's go back to that PHP info page and confirm that it's now showing the updated version of PHP. So I'll refresh this. And perfect, there's our version jump. 
And it also looks like they introduced a dark theme to the output of PHP info in this version. The other thing we can confirm if we go back to command line is just which version of PHP our system is using from command line. We could do that by just invoking PHP with the V flag uh, short for version and just confirm that we see the appropriate version number there as well. So at this point, the upgrade itself is complete, but there's one more thing we need to take care of. And that is to make sure any configurations we had made to our previous install of PHP are reflected in our new upgraded install. Uh, and the way we're going to do that, if we go back to PHP info and we look under loaded configuration file, there's a path to our PHP any file. This is where all of our PHP configurations go. We need to go through this file and again, make sure any configurations in here match the any file configurations from our previous version. Uh, to facilitate this and make this easier, I put together a script that will actually look at uh, your two PHP any files and tell you the differences between them in terms of the settings. And the way you can set this script up uh, from the notes, there's a link to the code for the script itself. So I'm just going to pull this up in another tab. Let's grab the raw version of this. I'm going to copy it all. And then back in my server, I'm just going to create a temporary file, call it any diff.php paste in that code. And then there's two variables at the top you want to change to uh, point to your PHP any files for your current version that you just upgraded to, as well as the previous version. Uh, and again, if you go back to your PHP info page, this is the best way to make sure you have the accurate path here. Just copy it directly from this information and you'll set that to be your current path. And then you could use that same path for previous. You'll just uh, swap in the version number. So in my case, I was coming from 8.0. All right, and if you want to check either of these paths, uh, you could just open these files in your code editor or in command line, wherever you're working. So for example, if I do uh, code add, I'll start with my current PHP any file, All right? You should see something like this. This is the typical contents of a PHP any file. And then I can also pull up my previous version. All right, so you can see there's quite a bit of information within these files. Uh, if you've never worked with a PHP any file, uh, basically you have all of these settings or directives as they're called that are set to certain values. And then before each setting or directive is a bunch of comments explaining what that directive does. All right, now again, you could go through this line by line and compare the differences between your two versions, but the script that I'm giving you is gonna go through and just highlight the uh, directives that are different. Uh, so let's run this. Let's see what that looks like. Um, we're just going to pull up this file in the browser. And it looks like in this example, there are two discrepancies amongst two different directives or settings, post max size and upload max file size. In my previous any file, these were both set to 50 megabytes. And then in the upgraded any file, uh, that was reduced down to eight megabytes and two megabytes respectively. Uh, and this is this is the kind of thing that can cause problems with your upgrades because let's say I had a feature on the server in some application where users could upload large files. Suddenly, if I'm limiting that to a much smaller value, that's uh, going to potentially create errors um, in my application. So we definitely want to bring these in sync. And to do that, we're just going to find these settings in our current any file and update them. So let's start with post max size. I'm going to look at my uh, current PHP any file. So just making sure I'm looking at the correct one. This is the 8.0. This is the previous one. And then this is the current one. And we'll search for post max size and update that to 50 megabytes. And then the other directive was upload max file size. Also want to make that 50. So with those changes in place, in order to make these settings take effect, we have to reload our PHP handler. Uh, and the command for that, let me go back to the notes it's the system control reload, and then we'll reference the appropriate version number for our PHP handler. So I'll copy that. All right, and then to confirm that those settings uh, took effect, let's go back to our PHP info page and refresh it, and then search for one of the directives you changed. So in my case, I'll search for upload max file size, and just make sure that that is uh, reflecting the change. You can see it's set to 50 megabytes. And with that, the upgrade is complete. All our settings are now in sync with the new version. 
Uh, the last thing you can do if you'd like to clean up your system, there is a command here you can run to purge any of your uh, previous PHP installs and packages if you want to free up some space on your server. Um, you don't have to do that. Technically, you could have sites that are using older versions of PHP that are still referencing that software. Um, that might be something you want to do if you have some like legacy software on your server that's not compatible with the latest version of PHP. You have options. All right, so I hope this was helpful. If you ran into any roadblocks when you were upgrading your system, feel free to leave a comment below and I can help point you in the right direction.